on the last session, uh, we saw specifically on how do we work on the workflow when you have a project and what are the different states and how does it work is what we were saying. And in that, one of the things that we saw is in order to even understand your project, you have to follow a standard directory structure as well as have a configuration file called pom.xml. And since we used a template, we use the default file. That is how so far, whatever we did the changes, everything was the default behavior. So in that case, now form.xml exactly contains all the details about your project. So as we saw in the last session as an overview, so the form.xml will be having the details about your project's GAV, that is group ID, artifact ID, and the version using which uniquely we will be identifying the project. And then it will define what is the package that we are going to create, from where is that source locations that we have to pick it up, where is the output, what is the dependencies, and if you have to use any other plugins. So all these things will be defined in the form.xml for a project, and every project should have at least one form.xml. So with that understanding, now, whatever that we saw in the last session, where was that? Here. So this was the default form.xml where we will have a tag called project and within that you will give the GAV as well as the packaging type using which the Maven will understand and try to create everything based on the default behavior as well as whatever the standard directory we have given. So that is how it was able to do all the workflow. So now going forward, if you want to change any behavior, what is that you're going to do? So the very first thing that we need to understand is Maven is completely driven by plugins because when you call Maven, you will be passing a goal, which is nothing but the workflow phase or you will be internally calling a plugin from that, right? And using the plugin, you will be executing a particular task. So now at any point of time if you want to do something other than the standard behavior then how is that you can work it out so in order to do that we need to understand that so far whatever that we worked if you remember so anything that you type here let's say compile so for each of the action it is going to call a default plugin, right? So that's how you will be having a default plugin for every action. So now, if you want Maven to do something indifferent, then we have to actually invoke that particular plugin using which Maven will be understanding what exactly it has to do. So now, in that case, Maven is exactly driven by plugin. And if we want to do a plugin management using Maven, how exactly we will be doing? So to understand this, the plugins that whatever that we will be using in Maven will be basically of two types. So the first type of plugin is called as build plugins. And the second type of plugins are called as reporting plugins. So all those plugins which we will use to do the build of the product is what we call it as a build type plugin. And if you are creating any documentation using Maven, then for that you will be using the reporting plugins. So by saying more than 90 or 95% of all the tasks that you will be doing in the Maven, that is uh, generating resource, compile, then uh, deleting, then testing, creating package, install, deploy. So like this, whatever that you do, everything is part of the build step only. So that is why all these plugins will be of the type build plugins, which means we will be using majorly only the build type plugins only. Okay. And other than that, on some scenarios, when you want to create a documentation, you will be using a particular reporting plugins.
okay so remember that now what is that we have to do with this plugin so inside the pom.xml that we have for that particular project we have to give the details of the plugin such a way that you will give the details about what is the plugin that you want to use and when you want to use and how you want to use so all those details is what we have to give within the pom.xml because we are trying to modify the default behavior of the maven or we are trying to put a specific workflow or a specific order in which the maven should execute okay so now in that way the plugins that whatever that either maven by default calls or we give a plugin and ask it to call everything happens through a goal because when you invoke maven we used to pass a phase name or a goal name right and because of that goal it understands that there is a plugin associated to it which means every plugin will have goals associated to it so that is how when you invoke a goal maven understands for this goal what is the plugin that it has to call okay so that is what we will be doing so now we will be trying to add more build plugins to the maven project where we will be telling other than the default plugin what plugin we have to add and for that plugin what exactly it has to do what is that plugin and when is that you have to call that plugin so all those details we will be giving it in the form.xml of that project file okay so now to understand this first let's understand the structure in which we will be giving the values to the pom.xml okay so to understand that now if you open a pom.xml we always begin with project and close with project so this is what you will be having the content of the pom.xml since it is xml file you will be putting everything in the tag format and within this now you will be having the gav of the project or for this particular pom.xml where the gav is nothing but what is the group id artifact id and the version so this is what you will have in the pom.xml by default okay and along with that what is the type of packaging that you are going to do that is the deliverable that you are going to create will be there so other than this now if you want to add a new plugin then we know that the type of the plugin that we are going to create or add to it is a build type plugin so that is when depending on what type of plugin that you are going to give you are going to give a tag with that suppose if it is a reporting plugin you will be giving it as a reporting but now we know that we are going to use majorly more than 98% if you ask me sometimes even beyond that we will be using only the build related plugins so that is why we will give a tag called build and whatever details we have to give for the plugin we will be giving it within this just a minute okay so now all the details that we have to give will be given inside this okay and further now for each plugin that you are going to have as i said you are going to give the details about what is the plugin when is that you are going to use it and how exactly that you have to use so all those details you will be giving to the maven between this tags okay so you will not be giving anything outside so it has to be in a proper syntax so that is what we are going to learn now so in that way, within the play uh, build now what is that we are trying to add we are trying to add a details of a plugins right so first we will give a tag further called plugin and close it okay so now where 
for each plugin that you have here the tag inside this you will be giving the details about what is the plugin so how do you identify a plugin once again the basics anything that the maven identifies either a project or a plugin will be using the gav right that is the group id artifact id and the version tag for that plugin and then when the plugin has to be invoked so now just like that it won't do anything right because we have a standard life cycle of maven so in that life cycle where exactly do you want this plugin to be invoked that is what the next thing and finally what the plugin should do that is the task that you want to perform using this plugin that is what we will be giving it here okay now like this we can give more than one plugin for the same project so it is not mandatory that you should have only one plugin so in that case if you have more than one plugin then for each plugin you will create a tag like this and put the details specific to this plugin now because of this since we can have more than one plugin defined within the project you will not directly put everything as plugin but you will create a tag called plugins and within this you will be giving the value okay so remember it will be plugins and followed by that you will be having a plugin and inside which each plugins detail on what when and how to run it will be specified okay so now let's focus only on one so project inside that build and inside that plugins and inside that plugin so let's see what and all data that we have to give for each one of them so if we have to give the details of the plugin then in order to identify the first thing that we have to give us what is the plugin so for that we will use the gav so you will use the tag called group id and you will specify the value and close it and then you will give the artifact id and you will give the value and then finally the version to identify this plugin okay so something like this some dummy value so once you have given this what is that next we have to do so we have identified or we have told to the maven by using the tags that this is the way that we will be identifying and what is the plugin exactly and then the next point that we have is when should we be we calling this plugin that means we know if you follow the standard directory structure and use the default workflow or the life cycle maven always goes through the step from generating the resources and sources and then compilation test package right so in that what exactly is this plugin going to do and when is that you are going to invoke so what is the purpose of this plugin so we need to understand that first and corresponding to it we will attach the plugin to that particular step or phase of the maven's life cycle so that based on the phase that you have given here maven will always call this plugin <coughs> after that particular phase completion that means now let's say this is a plugin which you want to connect to a database for some purpose in your project now when do you want to connect to the database or when do you want to call this plugin so that is when you will have to give the phase name let's say compile so if you give the compile is the phase then whenever this project maven executes the compile step after completing the compile step it will call this plugin so that is how we are going to attach the plugin 
to a particular phase of the life cycle so that every time when maven runs this it will be invoking this plugin automatically after the end of that phase okay so that way in order to specify the details about when the plugin should be given then we will have one more tag called executions so again this is a syntax it might look a little vague in the beginning but once if you see it two to three four times and change the form.xml it will be easy but if not it is a syntax so now you will give the details using a tag called executions and in fact both this details will be given within this executions so executions is the tag which will tell exactly how this plugin should be executed okay and when it has to be executed those detail will be given inside the executions but if you see the name says executions just like how you have plugins what do you mean by executions is it mandatory that if you give a plugin it should always execute only one type of data or one kind of way that it should execute it's not mandatory right for example you can use this plugin and tell to maven to connect to the database or the plugin is database so you can say please run some script in it or you can ask it to delete a table or any step that you want to do right so like this using the same plugin you can execute different tasks so that is when for the task that you want to execute under the executions you will have one more tag called execution and this is where exactly you will be given the actual execution step which means now wherever you have a tag which has an s ending ideally it means you can have multiple instance of the same so if needed i can have one more execution and within this i can say when you invoke this plugin with this phase attach it to it it will do something particular with some other phase it can do something else so like that for the same plugin you can do two to three different tasks right like you are using this plugin let's say to connect to application server like apache tomcat or jboss whatever now one execution can be connect to this server and deploy something and there could be one more which would say undeploy or you can use one more execution which will say stop it so like that you can use multiple execution for the same plugin so now all the execution will be given under the specific execution tag and everything will be under executions okay so in that now how do you give the plugin when it has to be executed right so that is when we will use further attack called phase and in this you will give the name of the phase that is the maven's life cycle phase any one of them and that will be the phase which will call this plugin whenever that completes for example if you say compile every time when you call compile after completing the compile it will invoke this plugin attach it to it okay and now further since as i said every plugin will have a goal so whenever you are calling a goal internally maven will call that plugin so in that way the compile will not directly call this plugin compile will call a goal associated to it and that goal will know that okay this is the plugin on which that goal is applied so internally it will call that plugin so for that for this particular execution we are going to give a goal 
okay and for that you will use a syntax called goals and you just give a string to it it is not mandatory what is the string that you have to give but internally a name so for example if i give test and complete it so what will happen is whenever maven invokes compile so the compile will call a plugin which it knows default and it will complete a task all right after that the compile will call this goal and this goal is associated to this plugin so it will call this plugin and based on that whatever that you have asked it to do it will perform the operation okay so that is how you will be giving the goal here so that this compile will call this goal and this goal will call the plugin and do the step whatever you want okay so that is how this tag will tell when the plugin should be invoked so we have given the details about what is the plugin when the plugin should be called and finally we have to tell what exactly the plugin has to do all right so once again for that we will use a tag called configuration okay and this is the configuration which will give exactly on what is that you have to do with this plugin when it is invoked along with the it has to be invoked along with the compile step okay so now for every plugin that you are going to call this is the syntax that you will be having okay the structure will be the same but the values will be differing based on what you are going to call and the syntax will be the same as well as the value for the configuration will be different based on each plugin okay so remember for every plugin you should always begin with the structure here so in the project you will first say build tag and inside that plugins and further inside that for each plugin you will give a tag called plugin and close it and all the details will be inside it so first you will give the details about what is the plugin using the gav tag and then when to call the plugin and what the plugin should do should be inside a execution tag okay so where with the same plugin you can execute it in different way so for that purpose for every execution type you will give within the execution tag under the executions the exact value okay so now when exactly this has to be executed that detail we will use it using i mean we will give using a tag called phase and this phase will have the value of any of the default life cycle phase so that after completing that particular phase the maven will call the goal whatever that you are giving associated to it and this goal will call the plugin where the plugin will execute the task whatever that you have given inside the configuration tag so now like i said if you want to connect to a database what and all is the details so you need to give the configuration details about what is the database you want to connect what is the username password that details suppose if you want to connect to application server then you will say where is the application server running or which is the url using which you have to connect what is the command to which you have to call it so like that specific to the plugin and the task that you want to do the values will be changing here but other than that this is the syntax that you will always be going through okay so getting it on what is the structure that we are going to use to define a plugin so with this we will see a couple of examples on how to call this plugin and see how the maven behaves differently in the sense how maven behaves based on what we have given the data any questions on this no adam 
because in your production everything will be plugins so that is when you need to understand this on how to keep so the syntax is very very important kishore yes sir uh, having the data is correct with this plugin i didn't get uh i mean uh, from maven to database connectivity uh -huh. no i i still do not get it what is the database i mean uh, we have to connect to we have to connect to the any database right uh, is having any uh, database connectivity like uh, maven to database yeah so whatever maven now has to do is through a plugin so now that is when i said if you want to perform any task other than the life cycle space then for each of the task that you want to perform maven has a plugin so you want to connect to a database you want to run a shell script or you want to run a python script you want to connect to application server or you want to run some command you want to connect to git like that anything that you want to do other than the default life cycle phase that is compilation testing creating package then for each one of them you will have a plugin and that plugin is what we are going to give it to the maven and tell maven you work in this way using this plugin getting it so now how do you know what are the plugins available in maven because maven is a plugin driven tool so internally everything is plugin so now if you go to the maven site it will have a list of plugin where you can see all those plugins associated with each and every step that we are doing in fact clean is again a phase where that is also a plugin associated to it that is how when i say maven clean it was doing clean using a plugin so every step that you did internally has a plugin associated whereas this was the default plugins that we used so in addition to it if you want to use any other plugin that you have so based on the requirement that you have you have to call that plugin here okay so all the plugins will be here so now what is the scenario that you have and what is the task that you want to do so for that what is the plugin that is available that you will be using it okay so to understand this better let's take one scenario and then see how you can use a plugin and what plugin to use now a uh, example that i'm going to give us let's say you are working on a project which is based on java and you already have the ant script set for this okay and now the organization wants you to migrate from the ant tool to the maven tool which is one of the most common requirement that you will be having so in that case now the developers will say that don't rewrite everything because there will be a lot of effort that is involved and we never know who modified it in the beginning and have a complete understanding of that so that is when one of the requirement what they would say is rather than rewriting everything with all the equivalent plugin that you have done in the ant they will say why don't you simply call the ant from the maven okay so that you will have the advantage of calling maven and handling your project as well as internally the existing scripts can be used to run the build step okay so in that case now in your project at any point of time if you want to invoke a ant command then what is that you have to do so it is one simple requirement so now for that we have a plugin called maven ant run plugin okay so if you go to that plugin 
So if you click on this, you will get a home page. And in the home page, if you go to the usage and click on this, okay, on the usage, it will give you the structure. So now, this plugin will help you to run a ant task through Maven. And for that, what is the syntax that we have to use? You can see it is saying how you have to use. And it is the same structure as what we just saw as a syntax. So the structure is going to be the same. Project, build, plugins, plugin, execution, phase, configuration. But the value will be changing with respect to this particular plugin. Okay. So now let's try to understand this where I have already put it just to save the time. So now we'll explain and go through this. But now I'm going to put this inside my form.xml for this project. So we already have a project tag. So anywhere between that, you will give this value. Okay. So now what is that happening? So now I have added the information using the build tag where first we have created a build tag closed it and within that plugins and inside that plugin and first you have to give the GAV of the plugin so the question is how do you know the GAV of this plugin and that is what we will be getting it from this page okay so you will use this whatever that it is trying to give us Okay, now if you have any other plugin other than this and you know the value, you can keep. If not, you can come to the usage and it will have the latest value which you can pick it up. So, the GAV we will be getting it from the plugins usage page. And once you have given the next details, what we will give is the execution. And in the execution, the first thing that you will give is the phase. Where what is the phase? for which we are associating this plugin to. So I'm just giving it as clean. And if I want, I can change it to any default lifecycle phase. And for that, I'm putting up a goal called run. So what will happen is whenever you run or you invoke the compile phase of this project, then after completing this compile, it will call the run. And this run will call this plugin and whatever tasks that you have given, it will execute. Okay, fine. Now, what exactly it has to do, we will be giving it inside the configuration. Now, to give the value of the configuration, if you go back again to this, the values that you will be giving here will be specific to the type of plugin. Okay, and you can get the values completely on how is that you have to do. Now, since I am not actually going to invoke a complete set of ant commands, for our understanding, I am just going to invoke a simple ant command. Okay, so what I am going to do is, I am just going to print some simple command using ant. So, as we know that there is an operating system command called echo, right? So, if you want to invoke the same thing through ant, you have to use something called as task. And this is the structure of the ant, not the maven. Even ant works in the same XML format for the configuration. And because of that, we are going to put the syntax here, which is that of the ant, not of the maven. Suppose if you want to change anything based on this, you will be putting all the content of the ant file exactly within this. Here, I'm just calling a simple echo command where the command or maven will invoke ant and ant will call this command okay so i'm just putting a simple example here calling and task so this is the configuration 
I have done. Now, whenever we call the compile, even after completing this, it will call the run goal, which will call this plugin. And for this plugin, the execution that we have given is, it will execute this stuff. Okay. So like this, it will go through the workflow where it is not just going to stop here. Why? Because that again depends on what is that you have actually told to the Maven to run. Don't get confused. Be clear in this. Now, let's say if I say Maven test, that is what I'm saying. So when I call test, what will Maven do? It will go through the life cycle from the beginning because that is its behavior. So the first thing that it will do is generating resource and then call the compile. And after completing the compile, it is going to call the test phase. That is the default behavior. But now when we have added a plugin, then the compile phase is not complete yet because you have attached something to it. So whenever it is going to execute the compile phase, at that point of time, after completing the compile, it will execute this task. But after the compile, the parent step that we have given is test. So ideally, it will first do compile, then run this, and then go ahead and call the test phase after that. Okay, so that the default workflow will also happen as well as whatever the way that you have specified and what you want to do in that will also happen in between okay so now let's do the build and see how it behaves so when I call maven compile see what happens so until now when we used to keep this I mean when we have used to run the default it used to call the resources and then it used to call the compile and then stop it, right? But now, since we have attached a plugin to it, after it has completed, it is calling exactly our plugin using the GAV that we have given. And then, what is that task it has to do? So that it is calling, okay? So only when you are calling compile or whenever you are invoking compile, it will call this task. So. As I said, if I call maven test, test is also going to invoke the compile as the default workflow. So once again, whenever the compile phase gets called, the task of the ant, whatever that we have given, will also get executed. Like this, whenever the compile phase gets called, this task will get invoked or the plugin get invoked. Okay. Now, if I say maven clean, it will not do anything because it is not associated to this space. So like that, you can choose the plugin when it has to be called. Suppose if I say clean, now you can see that it has called only the clean. But when you attach the plugin to a particular phase, you see after completing the clean, what is it doing? It is calling the plugin associated to it and then it calls the step. Suppose if you have something after this to be run, then it will go. But clean once again is a phase where it won't do anything else other than that. So that is how based on the phase that you want, you can call a plugin at that point and run a particular task. Getting it on how do you invoke a plugin and how do you give a value of a plugin? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. It will again be a little confusing, and I'm going to help by confusing it more. Okay, so ask questions if it's not clear. So, one example that we saw now that how do I call a plugin to do a particular task? So what I wanted to do is call a AND task. So corresponding to it, I gave the details of that plugin in the structure what we need. And in that, I gave the details of what is the plugin, 
when it has to be called and what it has to do so that after completing this it was calling this okay fine now along with this let me add one more plugin okay so as i said it is not mandatory that you should be having only one plugin now i can have one more plugin where i want to run some script or some command what that script does it is up to the build process or the development team to decide on what it has to do for instance if you want you can give a plugin to uh, connect to the database or you can write a script which will do something you know, automated internally to connect database and run something but you will have the requirement to call that script from maven right so in that way one of the other most useful plugin that we will be using is how is that you can run or execute a command from maven that is like how you are executing any command on the command prompt here just like this now here i can call a script or i can call a command or i can even call a executable or a program right in the same way if you want to call any of that from the maven then we have a plugin specific to it called as maven exec plugin or maven executable plugin so to understand this if you search for that plugin so once again that plugin will have the details about what is the usage and all those things okay so let me go to the home page of this So now once again this plugin will also have a home page and if you go to this there is a usage and if you go to the usage now once again if you look closely you will have the same syntax of build plugin everything okay but now we are not adding it separately right so we already have a plugin so the only thing that we need is we have to give the data from this plugin to this plugin where the first thing that we are going to give us the gav that we will copy it from here then what is the executions that it has to do and for that you will give the goal and the phase and then comes the configuration where the configuration is what is this used for this plugin is used to run any command line or executable just like how you will be running it on a command prompt from operating system so that way you will give the details about what is the executable that you want to call let's say you want to call a shell script so then the executable will be shell if you are calling a perl script then the executable will be perl so like that what is that you want to run that executable name and then for that do you have to pass any arguments you will pass like this okay fine so let's see that example as i have put it here so let's go to our project now since i am adding a second plugin i will add it here within the plugin stack okay Okay, so everything is within this plugin stack and here this is the plugin specific to our executable maven plugin so the first thing that we have given is for this plugin the maven exec and that is the gav so i have given the gav details okay then i have given the configuration detail where in the configuration now let's say i want to run this command okay so what is this from the command prompt i am running a command which is executable again so 
let's say if you want to run the same thing rather than a script suppose if you are running some script then you will call it as Perl the, a file name or Python and the file name something like that right? so in that way the executable that you will be calling there is the Perl or the Python specific to what is that executable that you will be calling okay so in my case I am going to call a git plugin so the executable that I'm calling here is git okay and for that is there any options or arguments that I'm passing and that you will give it using the arguments so here there is one option that I'm passing so that is what I'm going to give it using arguments and argument suppose let's say if it was something else like config hyphen hyphen list then there are two options or two arguments so in that case you will give one more argument inside this and you will give the value specific to what is that you have to add here okay so like that for every argument you will give a tag within this arguments so this is what we are going to run now what we have given is only the GAV and then the configuration now for calling a plugin what and all other things do we need so what does it define this defines what is this plugin and what it has to do correct but when will you invoke this plugin that is one of the important step that we have to give right and how you will give that you will give it using the executions and the face or the goal associated to it so now I have not given this why the difference is if you want to call a plugin you can call a plugin by attaching it to a face this is one way of calling suppose if I want this plugin that is this plugin attached to a particular face let's say I want to attach this plugin to the test face so that every time when we invoke the test it will call this plugin at the end okay now to do that what is that I would have done I should have created the execution tag create the face and in the face I should have given test and the goal associated to it and that should have been given here within this plugin correct but what if you have a scenario where you want to call the plugin but you don't want anything else to be invoked just that plugin it is similar like how you invoke clean when you invoke clean does it call any other face nothing right so it executes only that in the same way now if you have a scenario where you want to only do some task or call a plugin and that should do only a particular task associated to it so in that way now if I attach it to a particular face then unnecessarily you will be running all those steps once again or you will be running it so there are two ways of invoking a plugin the one that we saw first is the default way where you will attach the plugin to a face so that every time you invoke that face only then that plugin will be called but if you have a requirement when you do not want to call anything else other than only that goal or only that particular plugin then how is that you are going to invoke this plugin so the question that comes is let's go back to the scenario and understand it once again how does this plugin get called this plugin get called whenever you call clean right and does clean call the plugin directly no because we know that what is the scenario that we know that we call maven 
then the goals associated to it and that goal will call the plugin. So let it be the default or the one that we say. So that is why this clean will call. Okay, so to be clear, let's say if I say Maven clean, the Maven clean will call a particular clean plugin. And once that is completed, that will call this run goal associated to it. And that run goal will then call the maven and run. So that is how it used to execute. So in the same way, now, if I want maven to directly call this plugin, then I still need a goal name like this associated to it. All right? Because here we gave a goal. That is why the clean plugin was able to call that which is attached or associated to it. But in this case, we do not have any plugin that is given. I mean, sorry, uh, the phase that is given or the goal that is given because the phase and the goal goes hand in hand. Now, that case, how is that you can invoke a plugin? So for that, if you go back to the home page of that plugin, by default, every plugin will have certain goals associated to it. And that is how you can invoke that plugin directly. So not only this plugin, even if you go to the Antrim plugin, you can see it gives a goal. What exactly happens is when you call this goal, then the Maven will know that you are asking it to execute or call this plugin. Okay, so in the same way to call this particular Maven EXE plugin, it has two goals associated to it where EXE colon EXE is the plugin where it is going to point to our particular EXE plugin. Okay, whereas the other goal is also going to call this plugin, but the difference is this one will just execute any command that you have given. But if you are trying to execute a Java program, then you will not call this, then you will call this. Okay, so in our case, we are just trying to execute a command of an operating system. So in that way, if I now say maven exe exe, then maven will call this plugin that you have given in your project and directly execute the step and it will not do anything else other than this okay so that is the second way of calling the plugin so now watch carefully if i say exe exe so now when you invoke maven i know that i have to give a goal so what is that goal i'm giving so i'm saying maven exec colon exec so now the maven knows that this goal is associated to a particular plugin called EXEC and that plugin that you have given here. Now, because you have given, what is the configuration that it is put for it? So this it will execute. Okay, so what it has done, it has exactly executed this plugin and in that it is calling or running this command and you are getting the output exactly like what you have to get here. Getting it? Now, no matter what other plugin uh, or the goal that you call, it will never call this plugin. That is because you have not associated that plugin to any other face. Hence, if you want to invoke a plugin like this directly without associating any other face, then you don't have to give all the details, but you need to know the face or the goal of that for which you go to the home page of that plugin and you use it. In the same way, now, if you use the ant run colon run, then you can call this plugin directly. So that is how there is two ways of executing a plugin. One is attaching to a particular face so that every time you call this face then after completing the face maven will call this plugin whereas if you want to directly call the plugin 
then don't give this executions blah blah face code the only thing it requires is what is the name of your plugin that is the GAV and what it has to do and how you have to call you will call the default goal of the plugin and when you call it it will directly execute the steps that you have given in the configuration okay so when you go to a production there will be already an existing form.xml in that based on the workflow what they want to work you can see like this so don't get confused for few plugins why you have the GAV and all these things but for others you will have only the GAV and the configuration that is because for this you are going to call them directly and it is not going to do any other step whereas for this it has to be associated to a phase so that only when that phase is executed it will call this plugin getting it yes adam kishore yes sir we are getting okay. so if it is clear let me confuse it a little more now i said if you want to do anything other than the default behavior you have to use something called as plugin and that is what maven will be completely driving because maven is a plugin driven tool which is nothing but a jar file so all this file all these are nothing but the jar files which will be present in your local repository so now for each task that you have to do you have to use a plugin and give the details on when you have to call and what it has to do correct so based on that it is going to run okay now let's come to this for example now in this whenever you call a clean phase it is going to execute this all right but let's take a scenario when can you have an option where if you want you should be able to call this plugin after this or if you don't want it should not call this it should execute only this understanding what i'm saying now every time i do a clean what will happen here since you have attached a plugin to this goal every time this will get executed now if i want what i'm saying is if i say clean and if i want the plugin to be called then it should call the plugin after the completion but if i don't want and if i tell that to the maven then it should not be calling this it should be just completing only the clean step so you might have a scenario like that and during that how is that you are going to tell because now every time when you say clean it is going to call this plugin after the completion of this so a uh, scenario when you will be using these kind of methodology is let's say you have two plugins okay where you have one plugin to work on a production environment and one plugin on the testing environment now if you attach a phase to a particular plugin let's say you have attached uh, the phase like uh, deploy to a particular plugin like application server which is pointing to a testing environment so every time when you do a build and you call the deploy it will always connect to the testing environment and do some deployment now suddenly when you are trying to run the production it should not call that because your testing is enough and now instead of that environment you want to call another deployment or it should not do the testing wherein you can take that way or you can take it in the reverse way also the reverse way is you will have let's say an environment where 
every time you do a deployment it will connect to it but for some testing purpose you don't want to connect to the deployment step you want it to just do the packaging and install but it should not do anything with respect to that deployment step so how is that you're going to do so for both the scenarios what is that i want us if i want it should be calling that plugin and if i don't want it should not be calling the plugin right that is my scenario but the maven doesn't behave in that way why every time you call it is going to call this plugin at the end so how is that you are going to get that kind of behavior in maven before i get into it did you understand the problem and the scenario that i'm trying to explain yes i do you sure sure yes 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 sir. okay so to understand this now in maven we will use a special configuration called profile so what does it come to your mind when you think of profiles generally don't talk uh, anything about uh, build or anything related to system in general what does it come to your mind when you say profile have you used profiles anywhere yeah just a uh, just the details of a particular person or anything anywhere else there is one word which will come to my mind if i say profile what is that word social media what social media like that facebook, facebook twitter linkedin whatever you call it. so what do you mean by a profile there a profile is nothing but particular configuration that you will do with some specific data and it will be used for a particular people to see correct so you can create different profiles it will have different values and you choose which one you want to showcase that is the concept of profile correct so the same thing is what we are going to apply here but the difference is it is not a social media the difference is now whatever that you give within your form.xml is going to be the default behavior so rather than giving everything directly like this we will create a profile and in that profile you will give all the plugins so that you have to tell to the maven on what is the profile that you want to use so only if the profile is used within that profile whatever plugin that you have defined it will be using it okay so it is like that so simply a profile is nothing but a set of configuration that we can use to override the default values of the maven so that way using a profile you will get a customized environment so you can have different environments and different plugins like i said the same goal you can attach it to different plugins where when you want to invoke a particular environment you use that particular configuration and for that it will call only that plugin so those kind of environments can be given using profile and what do we mean by profile and what do you mean by configuration it is all about giving this plugins inside that is called we call it as a configuration so now simply rather than just putting all the plugins in build tag the whole build tag itself we can put it inside a profile so that only when we call that profile whatever the configuration or the plugins that you have defined inside it maven will be reading if not maven will not even read or execute them okay so how do you give a profile so you will use a tag called profiles where as i said a profiles stands for more than one profile inside your project like i can have a test profile i can have a, a production profile you know i can create different profiles and only when i want to invoke that profile maven will call the plugins inside it 
okay so you will create a profile and in that each profile will have a id or a string using which you will be uniquely identifying the profile so simply watch the behavior of how maven works now the whole build plugin i mean the build tag i will give it inside a profile tag okay and i have to close this completely all right and now since we can have more than one profile in the project we will use the profile tag to define each of the plugin set that you want to keep okay so what i have done is i have created one profile and inside that i have given all these plugins okay and now to identify this particular profile i will use a tag called id to uniquely identify this okay and let's say adam the name of the profile i am giving is adam okay now all i did is put the whole plugins that is the build plugin tag inside a profile called adam right now just see the difference when i invoke the same maven clean command so what did it do it just ran the clean did it call the plugin no because it has not read the configuration that is because we have not told the maven to read the configuration so if you keep everything in the default way maven will call but now we have created a profile and we have not told the maven to use the profile that is why it is going with the default behavior of running only the plugin i mean only this particular phase or the step so we got the first requirement there when i don't want i am not calling this plugin and how you will not call the plugin by not invoking the profile but if you want that plugin to be called then you have to call or invoke the profile associated to it so what is the profile associated to it add up right so simply to this particular phase i will pass a option called capital p and to that the name of the profile like this this is the syntax and now if you enter what maven will do is it will go and read the contents of this profile and in this profile you have given two plugins and in that one plugin is associated to the same goal which you are invoking or the phase so associated to that phase whatever the plugin is there it will take care of the task okay and again it is not going to run this you can see it is invoking so you will have all the behaviors and in addition the profile behavior and that is when only if you invoke the profile in the same way now if i say maven exec exec it will not know anything to do okay so you can see that it says it failed to call because it doesn't know anything about the plugin is what saying why because maven has not read the plugin details so only when now if you invoke the profile then maven will be reading the configuration and in that you have given a goal and based on that it is going to execute getting it so this is how using a profile what we can do is we can change the configuration in such a way that we can obtain a particular behavior where if needed we can call a plugin or if needed we don't call the plugin or we can set different profiles and within each profile you can give different plugins and you can choose which plugin to call and based on that the profile will be invoked so for the same example suppose if you are doing a deployment 
you want to connect to a testing environment whenever you are doing a test then you just say maven test followed by the test profile so that it will go inside the test profile and call the plugin associated to the test environment the same thing if you want to invoke it during a production then you should create a profile for production and when you say maven test you give hyphen p the test environment id then it will invoke only that plugin associated to the production environment so like that you can choose on which plugin to call and when you can call by creating your own configuration using the profile okay this could be one of the interesting questions also that they will ask how is that you can call different plugins in a different way so two ways one is either you want to attach a plugin to a face or directly to invoke or you can play around with the configurations on when you want to call when you don't want to call or for the same face if you want to call different plugins in for different steps then you will choose the profile which will act as a configurational behavior through which you can call a particular plugin getting it